Hey there everyone, Ramesh here. In this video, I am going to talk about how to become full stack Java developer. Well, if you are a Java developer and if you want to become a full stack Java developer, then you are in a right place. And if you are a Java beginner and if you want to become a full stack Java developer, then you are also in a right place. Well, in this video, I am going to give you a learning path uh, to become a full stack Java developer. Alright, so basically I'm going to, uh, you know, explain you what are the skills, I mean, what are the tools and technologies that you are going to learn to become a full stack Java developer. Alright, great. So before, uh, you know, look into the learning path uh, for full stack Java developer, let's first understand what is full stack developer. Well, full stack developer is an engineer who works on both client side and server side software. Well, the full stack developer uh, have a capability to develop uh, application from start to end because full stack developer uh, has a hands on experience on server side technologies as well as client side technologies. So in this video, we are going to explore what are the skills that required uh, to become a full stack Java developer. All right. Great. So look at here. This is the learning path for full stack Java developer. As a full stack Java developer, you should know the front end technologies, back end technologies, databases, and tools to develop uh, any software from end to end. Alright? So, look at here full stack Java developer, the word Java. So, Java is a server side programming language, right? And we are going to use Java uh, as a back end development. So, hence the name full stack Java developer. Let's take a look into what are the skills that are required to work on front-end development. HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So these are the three web development fundamental basics. So make sure that you have a good understanding of HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Well, HTML we use to develop our web pages and CSS we use to style our web pages and JavaScript is used to manipulate a DOM elements. All right. And once you are familiar with these, uh, you know, web development fundamentals, then you can learn uh, front-end modern frameworks like Angular, React.js, or Vue.js. So once you are familiar familiar with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, you can learn any one of the modern front-end frameworks like Angular or React.js or Vue.js. All right. So, so as a full-stack Java developer, you should know at least one front-end javascript framework all right great now we want an id to you know to develop a front-end applications right for that i am going to suggest visual studio code id so there are a lot of uh, you know ids or editors are there uh, for front-end application development but i'm going to suggest visual studio code id because it's open source and free id for uh, developing front-end applications all right so these are the typical uh, you know skills that are required to work on front-end development now let's take a look at the back-end skills that are required to work on back-end java development of course core java so make sure that you have a good knowledge on core java basics and advanced concepts like oops concepts and multi-threading and concurrency uh, collections framework jdbc and uh, you know all other stuff core java is based for uh, you know all other java w framework all right so you should uh, have a strong foundation in core java all right so once you are good in core java then you can choose a java w framework either you can go with spring boot jesse framework or rest easy to develop a rest fully of services so I highly suggest you guys to use Spring Boot framework to develop a RESTful web services, microservices, web applications. All right. So you can also use Jersey and REST easy uh, frameworks to develop a RESTful web services. But I highly recommend you guys to use Spring Boot because it, it provides a lot of features to work with, uh, you know, production ready, uh, you know, REST APIs. And it provides a lot of features like it provides uh, web, web servers like Tomcat, Jetty, 
and at a DAO layer we can use Hibernate or Eclipse link so these two are JP implementations Hibernate is one of the popular JP implementation which uh, I highly suggest you guys to learn about and you can also use Spring Data JPA uh, it is just an abstraction layer on top of JPA and Spring Data JPA we use basically to reduce a lot of boilerplate code that is required to develop a DAO layer and Spring Data JP internal use Hibernate as a default JPA provider. Alright guys, so once you have a foundation, great foundation on core Java and uh, you know at least one Java W framework to develop a REST APIs or web application, I highly suggest you guys to check out Spring Boot and once you know uh, the framework for developing a DAO layer. Now we also need to secure our REST endpoints or our web application right for that I'm going to suggest you to learn spring security so spring security is a framework which provides authentication and authorization feature and spring security is a very popular framework for uh, security all right so these are the typical skills that are required uh, to work on backend uh, Java development okay so apart from front-end skills and backend skills you should know the databases so as a full stack Java developer, you should know the databases as well. All right. So here I have listed a few common databases like a relational databases such as MySQL database, Postgres database, MySQL server, Oracle, and the NoSQL databases like MongoDB, Elasticsearch, Cassandra, CouchDB. So there are a lot of databases are available to work upon, but these are the commonly databases I have just listed here. So apart from databases, you should also uh, know uh, the tools like uh, uh, you know Eclipse or IntelliJ IDEA for developing Java project so Eclipse and IntelliJ IDEA so these are the two most uh, popular IDs for uh, Java uh, project development you can also use NetBeans but I never tried NetBeans but uh, no, yeah, NetBeans also a great uh, ID for Java development you can also check it out and git so git is uh, one of the essential tool for full stack java developer uh, to use as a you know version control system for your project also check out the svn is an alternative for version control system and jenkins and docker so of course these are the great tools uh, from devops to uh, work on deployment and continuous integration and continuous delivery of your project so docker is my favorite tool which i always use to deploy uh, microservices on different containers i use docker to deploy applications on uh, cloud all right guys so you check out these tools which are very uh, essential for uh, full stack java developer all right guys these so these are the tools and technologies that you can look into uh, to become a full stack java developer so these are the typical skills that uh, I have listed over here. So apart from these skills, there can be uh, advanced skills that you may learn while you work on real-time projects. Like you will, you will use, uh, you may use uh, AWS, uh, Kubernetes, uh, and uh, you know uh, there are a lot of other advanced skills that uh, you you will uh, learn whenever you will uh, work on real-time projects. All right, and these are the skills I just had listed here that you can check out to uh, become a Java full stack developer. All right, guys, I hope this video uh, helped you guys to at least uh, get an idea uh, like what are the tools and technologies that you can learn uh, to become a full stack Java developer. All right, so if you are already a Java developer and if you want to become a Java full stack Java developer, then you can at least learn one of the modern front end framework. Like either you can learn Angular or React.js or Vue.js. Okay, all of these are three uh, three modern uh, frameworks are very popular. You can uh, you can at least learn one of them. I have created a lot of content on full stack Java development, so I am going to suggest few resources that you can check out and you can go through the resources so that you will learn everything about full stack java development all right so i have hosted two free courses on full stack java development one is angular spring boot crude full stack application and another is react.js spring boot crude full stack application so these are the two absolute free courses that I have hosted on my YouTube channel and these are the very popular courses uh, on my YouTube channel 
so in order to check out these courses you can go to my youtube channel go to the playlist section and within the playlist section here you can see here angular spring boot crude full stack application so this is the course you can check out to learn everything about angular spring boot full stack application development so this course has 25 videos so go through these 25 videos you will learn how to develop a full stack application using angular and spring boot so if you want to add angular and spring boot uh, in your resume then check out this course you will learn everything about how to develop a complete full stack application using angular and spring boot so this is the one course and second course is react.js spring boot crude full stack application so this is also a very popular course on my youtube channel so this course also has 25 videos so go through these 25 videos you will learn everything about how to develop full stack application using react.js and spring boot alright guys so go through these two free courses on my youtube channel i am damn sure that you will become a full stack java developer alright alright guys so apart from my youtube videos you can also find a lot of content on full stack java development uh, on my uh, you know blog website so java guides is my blog website uh, over here you can find a lot of content on full stack java development for example so look at here this is a spring boot tab over here this is spring boot tutorial so this spring boot tutorial contains around 100 plus tutorials articles and guides on spring boot with different uh, integration with different technologies look at here this is the angular uh, tutorial so you can see here uh, angular 9 tutorial angular 10 tutorial all right and this is a react uh, tutorial so you will find a lot of content on front-end development as well as back-end development on my java blog website as well so i highly suggest you guys to check out my videos and java blog website to learn all about full stack java development all right guys thanks for watching i will see you guys in next video